Tonight we are taking you inside UMass Memorial for a medical breakthrough. Doctors have found a better way to diagnose and to treat lung cancer. Boston 25 News reporter Jim Morelli went to the hospital to see how it works and you'll only see the story here on Boston 25. Usually there aren't symptoms. And that is the cruel truth about cancer. When you don't know you have it is when it's most curable. No exception for the number one cancer killer in the U.S., lung cancer. I want just nothing more than to find a benign diagnosis. But that was not the case for a 67-year-old woman who came to UMass Memorial Health Center after a CT scan picked up a tumor in her right lung. At most hospitals, just determining whether a lung tumor is cancerous can take up to a week after biopsy, but not at UMass. Today we're doing what's called a RODAT procedure. RODAT stands for Robotic One Anesthetic Diagnosis and Treatment, which means in a single morning, this patient will not only learn she's got cancer, but doctors will take it out using this four-armed robot. We were the first in New England to do it, and there's just a handful of centers in the country who have figured out how to do it. Good spin, Jesse and Dr. Drexler. Very helpful. Dr. Rahul Sood, a pulmonologist, first removes biopsy samples from deep in the patient's lung. We're going down uh, from the inside almost to the edge of the lung here. That several feet is traversed using a probe that twists through tiny lung structures. While the patient remains sedated, Dr. Andrew Fisher, a pathologist, steps in to determine whether the biopsy contains cancer. We have to be extremely careful on these cases, right? Careful because sometimes, as in this case, a diagnosis is not so obvious. But UMass has developed screening techniques to turn around biopsies in about 15 minutes. Okay, let's bring in the robots. Once the cancer diagnosis is made, the patient is seamlessly operated on, again using advanced robotics. It gets them a diagnosis for their concerning lung nodule, and it potentially gives them definitive treatment all in one day. And that saves time, money, and patient anguish. And if this patient were at another institution besides UMass, there would still be another delay of weeks to months, perhaps, before she would actually have her cancer resected. She's going to have that resected today, and it'll, she'll probably go home tomorrow. In Worcester, Jim Morelli for your local station, Boston 25 News.